I'm Tracy Hester. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Houston Law Center. I am currently the director of the Environment, Energy, and Natural Resource Center, where we examine issues at the intersection of energy and environmental law and offer insights and policy recommendations. Climate change litigation is actually a booming area in the federal courts. There are over 200 lawsuits that have been filed so far. They fall in different categories. A lot of them are lawsuits to force the federal government to take action to regulate climate change, uh, climate emissions. Also lawsuits that uh, are fighting attempts by the federal government to regulate greenhouse gas emissions. The one that's before the Supreme Court today though is a third category that's actually particularly interesting. Attempts to take traditional concepts of tort law, such as nuisance, and applying those to greenhouse gas emissions. The case before the Supreme Court is Connecticut versus American Electric Power. It's important because it's the first time the Supreme Court has examined whether the federal courts can hear lawsuits claiming that greenhouse gas emissions are torts, the same way that uh, emission of a dangerous gas might be, uh, maybe a nuisance, for example, under federal common law. If the courts are opened to those types of lawsuits, we may be seeing the federal courts intervening and in trying to decide, for example, who should pay how much for damages caused by past greenhouse gas emissions, or issuing orders telling what facilities can emit how much greenhouse gases at what times. We don't know exactly what the Supreme Court's going to say yet, but what, even if the plaintiffs win everything they ask for, what will happen is that this case will go back to the trial court, and we're going to end up with a full-fledged trial on whether or not these utility companies have emitted greenhouse gases in such a way that they have contributed to climate change in a way that actually causes specific damages to the plaintiffs that they can then sue over. It's going to be a very complex, very long, very controversial trial. Larger, it also means that these kinds of lawsuits can get into federal court. And the federal courts may find themselves at the center of a lot of climate change fights over who should be liable for what types of emissions and what sorts of policy decisions have to be made about how much greenhouse gases people can emit. All eyes are not on the court, they're actually on one justice, Justice Kennedy. People observing the court feel pretty strongly that at least four of those justices think that it was wrongly decided by the appellate court, that this case should never get a trial. The other justices, there are three of them that people think will say yes, these cases should go to trial. The one judge has had to back out, Justice Sotomayor, because she heard this case in the Second Circuit. So that means Justice Kennedy, the last justice, he can either cast his vote with a three and will end up with a 4-4 split tie, which means the Second Circuit decision stands. Or he'll cast his vote with the other four and will end up with a 5-3 decision that will close the doors to the courts. Everyone's focusing their arguments on him.